It's USL E-Cup Rocket League Edition and an example in Group 8 of what makes this competition so great. Forward Madison of USL League 1 trying to go full Mingo against Memphis 901 FC. Welcome, folks. Mike Watts, Devin Kerr on hand. It is a 1v1 competition here, Devin, and the players have become accustomed to it. There are changes, however, for both teams coming in, going to alternates, but it comes down to this. The top two teams from each group advance, and it makes this a borderline must-win. Both teams got smacked around in their first matchup, Mike, and Brandon Allen will be playing under the same screen name as Raul Gonzalez, Raul from Shu, but it's going to be a different style. You take a look at the group, Mike. Birmingham Legion, FC Tulsa, Forward Madison, and 901 FC rounding it out, and there's a lot to play here, but you are spot on. This is do or die. It's time to get three points. Mitchell Meerman is going to take over for forward Madison playing for the Flock Soccer Fund for Memphis. It is Brandon Allen. The Meerkat. Love what I'm seeing there. Brandon Allen, the journeyman of sorts within the MLS and USL Championship. An opportunity to make Tim Mulkling crowd. Let's go. Meerman has been doing it for a while. Brandon Allen, we're told, is in the best fitness of his life in this game. Memphis, Madison, game one next. Reward your car at Finn's Car Wash. And with the Finn's mobile app, you're rewarded too. Like a free top wash when you join our loyalty program. Download the Finn's app and start earning rewards today. Finn's Car Wash. Fast, fun, fantastic. When my love takes me home, it's 105, 8, 30 miles on. Reward your car at Finn's Car Wash. And with the Finn's mobile app, you're rewarded too. Like a free top wash when you join our loyalty program. Download the Finn's app and start earning rewards today. Finn's Car Wash. Fast, fun, fantastic. Ford Madison, Memphis 901. Two teams new to the fray a year ago taking part in the inaugural USLE Cup Rocket League edition. Meerkat! Exclamation point. Taking on Brandon Allen playing under a pseudonym. It's Raul Gonzalez's gamer tag. And it is a Ford Madison knocking this down to the opposite end. Meerkat, one of the higher ranked players in this game, even though he's not officially the first choice for Ford Madison. The Meerkat again. Brandon Allen, a striker, showing off a defensive mentality. I like the little touches, Mike. I like it. I love the little touches. You know I do. Watch out. Allen trying to recover. He can't. Mingo's lead. Much like the Batmobile we saw out of Trent Whelan and FC Tucson, Brandon Allen's car reminds me of the Penguins mobile and Batman Returns. There's something really genuine about the car that uh, Ford Madison's playing in. And th there's no extra frills. Meerman. Meerman, you never go full Meerman. The Meerkat leads to nothing. Both Memphis 901 FC and Ford Madison were able to get on the board. 901 FC had the better of it. Two goals in their opening game against FC Tulsa. Ford Madison has now doubled their total from moving in Legion. Looks like everything's headed in a positive direction. Well done by Allen, who's showing off a nice skill set in the early going. 
definitely gained some, Mike. He's been putting the work in for sure. Allen bumped away. Three saves already for Brandon Allen. Allen respawns. And he wasn't taken by the fake. And Madison arrives in time to blow this off the top of his car and in. Meerkat special. Burrowed down, poked his head up, saw that the lioness had stepped away, went after the food on its own. It's Allen. Allen with a blast. Oh, wow. I thought that was in. Tremendous defensive recovery. And now the Meerkat goes pirouetting through and keeps this just inside that post to take a 4-0 lead. I gotta be honest, Mike. When I was watching this live, and even on the replay, this almost looks like it's going right at the post. But it tucks itself inside. Amazing that with these brand new glasses, I still can't see a thing. Allen off the misplay. Allen, did he get there first? He did, but that ball deflects. And Karam's way out beyond midfield. Allen gets back, tracking all the way through. And forward Madison will dribble this into the goal. And with a minute 24 to go, forward Madison look like they are the ones who are going to find their first points in this competition. It's not as bad as it looks for 901 FC and Brandon Allen. Like, he's just got to drop some of that dead weight on the defensive side of the ball. Brandon Allen, the 2016 USL Championship Rookie of the Year. He played on that loaded team for New York Red Bulls, too, that won the championship. He was the MVP of the final. Tyler Adams, Aaron Long. Keep going. Ryan Mara, Derek Etienne, uh, Vincent Bezicourt. There you go. Any, anybody else? Florian Velo, John, John Wallenick. Oh boy. One, one of the boys from Louisville. Dig deep. Oh, Speedy Williams. Right. You know, I called that final with uh, Kate Markgraf and the, the compliments that Kate gave to Speedy. Thought maybe best player on the field, either team. Saw huge things coming for him. The Jamaican might be uh, well on his way to something special, but he's in uh, Louisville another year. Kyle Rainish, Connor Klua, Noah Powder. Mm -hmm. a, a, a multi-time champion now. Meerkat up 7-0. What we're saying is the 2016 New York Red Bulls 2 were extravagant in terms of talent. And Brandon Unfair. Allen was the centerpiece of that attack. Allen looking to get on the board. And Allen certainly will. That a boy. 
just had to bide his time. He's been down there doing the dirty work. Unfortunately, just overstepped himself a few times. But patience has prevailed. And Allen, you know, Georgetown alum. 50 goals at Georgetown. So, you know, pride in that program. Seven one likely to be the final unless this uh, somehow doesn't get kept up. It does, and well, it is uh, Brandon Allen falling behind, and elimination is looming large for Memphis. Four Madison lead to game to none in the best of three. Ford Madison and Memphis 901 FC matching up here in USL E Cup Rocket League Edition. Mitchell Meerman, impressive start, taking over for Brandon Eaton. And on the other side, a different Brandon. Brandon Allen trying to get back in it for Memphis. That's not going to help. Oh boy. That's a Meerkat special. Look how low to the ground he stays. True to the name. Just 563, no, 64 touches. We see the last one at the end there. Helps him score a goal in 16 seconds. Oh boy. This has a chance on there its own. Is. A bump might be able to help. Picking up the boost, and Madison has a chance now. The respawn arrives in time. That ball sat in the air seemingly for an eternity. Could it? Will it? It won't. starting to understand that he can do a little bit better this time around. He's got to keep the goal closed. <laughs> Ford Madison were inches away from making it a two-goal game, and now all they need to do is get back in time to keep this inside the confines of the goal. They do 2-0 to Ford Madison. Very well played here. Great recovery by Meerkat. I think Mitchell Meerman's doing very well for himself. No disrespect to Brandon Eaton, but the three points is good, but the goals are better. Here comes Madison. Mitchell Meerman's favorite game is uh, on the N64, DK64. Devin, is there any direct correlation between success in one and success in Rocket League? Uh, they've actually got a scientific study going on right now, Mike. If you donate your left kidney 
and play the game for three hours straight, they are willing to give you the results. If you just play the game for three hours straight, you get nothing. Here comes the meerkat. He's not kidding around at all. Four nothing, and Madison, you're poised to grab three points still in this best of three. Mike, have you been an aficionado of any games growing up? I gotta know. I I was a big DK64 fan. Old MVP baseball games, big on that. I don't have nearly the mechanics necessary to play this. But it's, uh, five nothing here, Madison. Our runaway favorites to seize the day in the group. Allen, Allen, Allen. Brandon Allen, he'll take one back. One in the first, one in the second, three in the third. He's building something here, maybe by match 27. And uh, the competition that will take place in 2064, they will have an opportunity to progress through. in a vital moment here with the two-minute warning sounding. It's 5-1 to Madison. 6-1. The momentum back on the side of the Flamingos. Floating back all the way to the flock has a bit of bragging rights headed the way of Ford Madison, at least for the time being. They're going to get their three points. They're going to get an opportunity, Mike, to at least challenge for that second spot. Of course, Taylor Hodges and Birmingham Legion probably going to occupy number one. Allen knows he has to defend. Another goal would be devastating. Mike, I just realized that the smoke coming out of the car combined with the pink coming off of the car has given me a cotton candy craving. You know what that does to me. Flies Meerman. Here comes Allen. Allen with the poke too high. Allen, pardon. Allen may be trying to get a measure of revenge. He was with Minnesota United in 2017. Ford Madison was paired with uh, Minnesota in 2018, a direct affiliation there. Into the 2019 season, it was announced in 18 before the team debuted. And then in 2020, it's going to be Chicago Fire now with the affiliation with Ford Madison. So the former Minnesota man was trying to get a, a measure of revenge. Allen. Not over for uh, for Memphis, but going to be on zero points going into match day three. Devin Ford Madison, big time win here. Happy to see it for Ford Madison. Frustrating for Memphis, but again, it's all about love and it's all about charity. Meerkat, two zero winners in the best of three series. Highlights from this one when we return on USL E Cup.
Full Mingo, full-time highlights. Forward Madison over Memphis 7-1-7-1 in this second day of the match uh, group. With Devin Kermike, Watts on hand at Devin in the end. We saw Mitchell Meerman make his debut in the competition and in the pink car showed off nicely with great defense and timely offense. Mitchell Meerman, the Meerkat Madison man. Say that five times fast, Mike. Forward Madison gets back on the board. I tell you what, we didn't know what to make of them nor did we know what to make of this matchup. Both Forward Madison and 901 FC struggling, to say the least, in their opening games. That wasn't the case here in the second round matchup. Forward Madison, 7-1, 7-1. Actually thought Brandon Allen with that beautiful little car did a good job. The problem was he took a cotton candy break about halfway through the match, never recovered. Only the two goals for them. Very frustrating. Only two goals in the first game, only two goals in the second. They're gonna go 0-2 into round three. Forward Madison back on the board is alive in group eight. Memphis and Tulsa are as well. Birmingham has to feel real confident right now about their future as well. For producer Sharni Yerke and our Vista World Link team, Devin Kerr alongside Mike Watts saying thanks for watching this uh, latest edition of USL E Cup Rocket League Edition. We'll see you next time for a thrill-filled match day three in group eight.